Before we start, let me show you up the final preview. See here, I have created pure CSS menu bar with the help of transition property. That is, when I hover on them, they will change their color with some animated effect. I have also created a class active which currently I have applied to home item. You can see border in the bottom of home. We can very easily shift this class active on other pages when we will work on them. So let's get started. Here I have already opened up Adobe Dreamweaver CS6 and the document in which we are going to work. Doc type I am using is HTML file. We can use any code editor software. Let's first attach an external style sheet to this document. Let me go to file, new, CSS, create. Let's save up this file. Let me save it with the name of style.css. Let's attach this file to our document. Link REL. It's a style sheet. Type text hover slash CSS. href style.css See, our style sheet is attached with our document now. Now, let's go to body section of the document. Let's insert nav a new HTML file tag Close this nav tag. Let's have an ordered list. Let me apply a link to my this item home. Which I'm going to specify right now. I'm using hash. Name of item. Close this link tag. Close this ally tag. Now let me just copy it and paste it several times. Let's have it. Second item as about us. Third, let's have it. Products. Fourth, let's have it. Services. Fifth, let's have it. Contact us. Let's see what this much. Let's preview. See, I have generated an unordered list. Now we will create our menu bar with our CSS style. Let's go to style.css. First, let me have CSS tool for nav. Height, I want to have is 42 pixels. Nef UL List Style None 
is I don't want to have bullets along with this list items. Let's save up. Let me show you preview what we have done so far. The moment I reloaded, we have no more bullets along with our list items. Now, if you are I A. It means now we are applying CSS tools to our anchor tag. The links which we have given to our items. This A H R E F hash. Let's have wait. Of hundred pixels height, you can change this value as per your need. I want to display this list item to be in float left to each other rather than list. So let me have float to be left. Let's save up this much. Let me show you a preview. See now they report left to each other. Now I want to get rid of this underline on them. So let's have it. Let's have it text decoration to be none. Let's save up. Let's reload. See now we have no more underline along with our list items. Now let's have background color. Background color. I already have a hash code. You can have any color of it. Let me have text color to be white. Font weight. Let's have it bold. Let's save up this much. Let's preview. Let's reload. See, this is what we have so far. Now, I want to have little space between them. So, let me have margin zero pixels from the top. 10 pixels from the right, 0 pixels from the bottom, again 10 pixels from the right. Let's save up. Let's reload. See now we have space between them. Now let me align text. I want it to be in center. So let's have text align to be center. Let's save up. Let's reload. See now we have our text horizontally center. But it doesn't work vertically. So let's have Line height, line height to be 42 pixels, 
as we have given height of 42 pixels. So I'm applying line height of 42 pixels. Let's save up. Let's reload. See line height centralizes the text vertically. I want to have radius. Say I want to have radius, border radius of 8 pixels. Let's save up. Let's refresh. See now we have border of 8 pixels in our menu bars. Now let's have some hover properties that is also called as pseudo class. Just copy and paste it and a hover. Now, when I hover on this, I want background color to be hash 6 color of text let me have this background color as color of text now just copy and pasting it now Again, I want to have border radius of 8 pixels. Now, let's save up this much and let's preview. See now, when I hover, it changes its background color and text color. to the value which we have specified. Now, see this menu bar changes its color all of sudden when we hover on them. Now, let's give it some animated effect with transition property. Let's go to CSS property for this anchor tag and have transition property. I want to change font color and background color both with some delay. So let's have it transition property all transition duration that is the time of animation. I want this to be 0 0.4 seconds. Transition timing function. I want this linear, that is, the speed curve should be the same speed. If you want to learn transition property in detail, you can watch my tutorial on it. Let's save up this much. Let's reload. See, now color of menu bar changes with some delay. So, our menu bar is ready. But now let's have class active. You can have it if you want. Next, you will align a dot
we can also have background color in our active class. Say so I want to have background color same when I hover on it. So I'm just copy and pasting it. And let me apply this class active on my home page. For this example, I am using it on home page. When you are on about us page, you can shift this class to about us page. When you are on products, you can shift this class on products and so on. Class active. Let's see what. Let's reload. Active class has been applied to our home item, but it won't change it color on hover now as we have applied active class to it. Or we can also apply this class in some different way. So instead of having background color, let's have it border bottom. Five pixels solid color. Let's have the same color when we have on hover. Let's save up. Let's preview now. Let's refresh. See now we have border in the bottom and now it changes its background color also but now we have some problem that it has increased its height of 5 pixels because of this border value so let's assign it height to be 37 pixels 42 minus 5 becomes 37 let's save up Let's reload. See now we have our home item exactly as 42 pixel now. Now when we will be on about us page, we can shift this class about us there. Just control X, control B. Let's save up. Let's reload. See now about us is having that active class on it. So this is done friends. And if you want to learn these subjects directly from me, do contact me. Do not forget to subscribe me. Have a good day.